Wait, before we get started, I just want to um, show you something real quick. Uh, it's, it's just cute. Renzo, you getting it in? You getting your reps in? Come on, guys. What baby does that? What one-year-old picks up anything and in his mind say, this is a clipper, you are my client. I am going to cut you. I mean, come on. He is literally in tuned with cutting hair. My one-year-old, my son, Lorenzo, is focused. Now guys, I have to update you with a few things that have literally driven me nuts. It's crazy what's happened in the last two days. Y'all see this right here? This is like the oxygen of the channel. I had fire in here, fire. Fire as far as just more content. What was in here? I lost the pain. I felt it. I, I felt it right here and right here. And I just wanted to, uh, I was, I was miserable for a day and a half, almost two, but we're back. Um, I, I went through one of my old hard drives and I found what, what, what we're about to see on this video. This is pretty old. I mean, it's like 2019. I'm almost two weeks into this quarantine life. Losing files and being in quarantine does not make for a great mixture of living life right now. But besides that, we're doing just fine, guys. I must say I have developed a, a habit of eating way more food ever since I've had to stay home more hours than I normally do ever as an adult, ever. I've been eating a lot and have not been working out at all. And I still have more weeks to go. All right guys, I am ready to get started. Right here we have a client that ended up walking in at the last minute to the shop. I've never cut him before in my life. I think and um he just came in he was like telling me how he just wanted to switch it up it's been a minute since he's had it short on top and he, he pretty much he pretty much wanted to cut it off now given the fact that he wanted to cut it off i wanted to make sure i run that comb straight through i didn't know if it was knotted up i didn't know you know you still want to check now as i'm watching this i'm sorry to remember that this took a while i went ahead with a number three i think i could have gone lower than that but you know again we're playing it safe out here guys proceed with caution yo Fonz, do me a favor clean his face off look at him look at him come on grab the hose where the hose at where the hose at oh snap I meant the, the, the air compressor hose. That's the only hose I'm asking where it's at. That's, that's it, that's all I meant, that's all I meant. Okay guys, hold up now. Do you guys see this? Do you see the resting of the hand? Notice the resting of the hand on the forehead to catch. This is a basket. You Just have to turn <laughs> your hand into a basket, into a container oh of hair. hair. Why? Because you don't want the hair to just flop down the client's face. It's annoying, it's uncomfortable. So what you do is cup it right here. Cup it and it will catch all the hair. Especially if you're chopping down a lot of hair from the client. Come on now. Cup it right there. And it'll catch it all. Okay? <laughs> Jay is on the beat. Did I say that was the number three? Guys, I don't know if I said it earlier. I had the number three with the grain. Now I chose to go against the grain, but because we're going against the grain, that means we're cutting shorter. And because we're cutting shorter, we're gonna grab a higher guard. That's why I chose the number five. And because the number five is not what I thought it was gonna do, I, I grabbed the number four and, and, and we're attacking with the number four now. Now, 
look, I see you asking yourself, what in the world is that? What are you using? Fonz, what's in your hand? Fonz, what's on his head? What's all that? stuff yeah setting lotion i just want to lay it as much as possible since that's what you we're trying to do anyways i i just wanted to experiment a little bit on on this video i guess i chose a hell of a time and a hell of a person to experiment on usually you don't experiment on first time clients when it comes to recording videos you want to cut somebody you've been cutting for a while because then they'll have the patience to deal with you there's somebody you developed a relationship with i went ahead and just went for it the vibe was right especially after i told him i was a youtuber he just respected it so much he was like bro do what you gotta do to make this video i was like she i said okay say less let's get it squirt All right, shout out to all my team stampers out here. Remember, guys, this is old, so we're going in hot because we're going in with blades blazing up in here. We're gonna stamp it, stamp it, and stamp it well. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're doing a little fade, low ball fade. I should have said this early. I don't know why I didn't say it, but hey, it's never too late. Let's get it in, stamp away, stamp away. <music> I see you boy Fonz I see you boy bringing out the masters all right look to this out I'm doing this panel this section with the masters all the way open after that we'll see what happens but look guys aside from this video continuing on I really want to express how frustrated I still am that you guys probably will never see what I had in store for this this little stay at home quarantine break. I literally had so freaking much in the chamber, in the chamber. I literally was working on a project. It was a waiver. Shout out to my boy, Justin. Justin, I'm sorry, dude. We're gonna have to wolf again and run it back. A lot of my clients, I'm gonna call y'all and I need y'all to come back. I mean, y'all gonna come back anyways, but you know what I mean, we're gonna have to run it back. Hold up, hold up, pause it now. Check it out, zoom in real quick. Uh, what do you see under the occipital bone? You see that area? How, it's, how it kind of looks a little bit darker? This is where you're supposed to tell your client to look down. It stretches out the skin and it makes it easier. Take this in for you to cut around that area. And guess what? Doesn't seem like I did that. But this is just a quick reminder to you, to you guys and to me. Look down.
this right here is when I noticed, damn, I'm nowhere close to being done. <laughs> I was nowhere close to being done. Y'all see that bulk line right now? Man, and I'm going at it with the number two? Man, I but see, I'm proceeding with caution now. This right here is when it got slightly a little, you know, a little tense for me. Like, damn, I know if I just grab, grab a lower guard, this will be all over. But then again, it might be higher. Proceed with caution, guys, okay? <laughs> Finna drop the f bass Buckle your seatbelts, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. We're about to get into this edge. The edge up, the framework, the, let's get into this, I'm talking too much, let's go. Jay hits on the beat. <laughs> Okay, now, when it comes to uh, the C cup, I don't go too in. I don't wanna go too in to just be able to say you have a C, a very C shaped cup. Now, there are some clients that it looks really, really nice on. And for me, I'm just gonna say, I would rather try it or do it on clients that have been coming to me at least a handful of times for me to start being a little bit more creative or risky with the C cup. My man right here, it's his first time. Let's just not be risky with everything, Fonz. Let's just be a little bit, you know, more conservative with the with the C cup, okay? Base. Right here, guys, we're playing a game, a game called How Low Can You Go, okay? And we're not talking about the how low can you go that your dirty mind is thinking, boys and girls. No, 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 no. We're talking about how low can you go with the guard. You can't just go low straight off the bat. You gotta play the guess game. Right now, we're playing the guess game with the number three first. Okay, so at this point, guys, he was looking at his facial hair after, you know, I brought it down. He was considering it, but he came back and again, it's the guest game. He wanted it shorter around the middle area, so I went. I just went ahead and took the guards off, opened that blade up, ran it through. You feel me? Ran it through. Sometimes you gotta run it through. Again, this was a long time ago. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I think I mentioned it already. I don't know if you knew. When it comes to facial hair, it tends to be way thicker around the chin area and around the mustache area you guys let me know in the comments below have you ever noticed that around the mustache and the chin area the little goatee area is thicker than everything else let me know in the comments below am i going crazy or what
Beats on the Beat. This is a crucial piece right here. Not only do you just want to clean it up with a razor, you want to come back against the grain as you're cleaning the edge up line with a razor, guys. Don't just go with, with the grain. You want to go against the grain too because it's going to give it a cleaner look. It's going to pop more. Go against the grain. Just, just give it a try. You'll never try anything else, I'm telling you.